This animation explains about different types of application of op amp, such as non inverting amplifier and inverting amplifier. Some other types are differential amplifier, summer, integrator, and differentiator. The operational amplifier, op-amp, is a multi-terminal device which is internally quite complex. The schematic diagram of an op-amp is shown. Op-amps have five basic terminals, two input terminals, one output terminal, and two power supply terminals. Switch on the op-amp application trainer and oscilloscope. First, let us take the non-inverting amplifier stage for test. Check positive 5 volt and negative 5 volt supply to appear at the VCC and VEE pins of all the 741 IC by using multimeter. The input source, such as sine wave, is generated by XR2206 IC. Set the amplitude to 1 volt of sine wave generator by using potentiometer. The sine wave generator output is connected to the non-inverting amplifier input by using patch cord and then connect to CRO channel 1. The non-inverting output is connected to CRO channel 2 by using CRO probe. Check the non-inverting output using CRO. As the input signal is fed at the non-inverting terminal of the op-amp, the amplified output will be in phase with the input signal. Check the gain of non-inverting amplifier as per the formula. Next, let us take the inverting amplifier stage for test. Now the sine wave generator output is connected to inverting amplifier input by using patch cord. Observe the waveform across the inverting amplifier output using CRO. Note the gain and phase. Check the gain of inverting amplifier as per the formula. Next, let us take the differential amplifier stage for test. Now check the DC source output using multimeter by varying the potentiometer clockwise. Set the DC voltage to 5 volts by adjusting the potentiometer. Set the sign signal amplitude to 2 volts by using the potentiometer. Now connect the variable DC source output to differential amplifier V1 input by using patch cord. Now connect the sine wave generator output to differential amplifier V2 input using patch cord. Observe the output of differential amplifier using CRO. Next, let us take the summer stage for test. The summing amplifier is a handy circuit which enables you to add several signals together. Set the DC voltage to 2 volts by adjusting the potentiometer. Set the sign signal amplitude to 1 volt using the potentiometer. Now connect the variable DC source output 
to summing amplifier V1 input using patch cord. Connect the sine wave generator output to summing amplifier V2 input using patch cord. Observe the output of summing amplifier using CRO. Next, let us take the integrator stage for test. Integrator circuit calculates the integral of the output, which indicates that the output voltage changes at a rate proportional to the input voltage. Set the function generator as a square wave mode and 500 Hz frequency. Now, connect the function generator output to integrator input using probe. Observe the output of integrator by using oscilloscope. Next, let us take the differentiator stage for test. Set the function generator as a sawtooth wave mode and 500 Hz frequency. Now connect the function generator output to differentiator input using probe. Observe the output of differentiator using oscilloscope. Change the function generator mode from sawtooth to square wave and observe the output. 